Hi everyone, welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing a pearl pour with a twist. I'm going to be using some gold metallic spray paint um, in the mixture. I'm spraying it on top after I lay the pearls and the colors down. This is a 14 by 18 gallery wrap canvas. I have it taped on the back. Um, all these sort of blue tint colors are just custom and leftovers. So I really don't know what they are. I mean, if, you know, I could probably guess, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so these paints, the consistency is a little bit thicker than my pearl mix. I don't know if you can see that, it sinks in, but it does leave a tiny mound before it sinks in. Now my pearl mix, which is this right here. Here's the recipe if you want to take a screenshot. Okay. You might, I mean, if you need to add a little bit more water to make it more fluid, go ahead. But that's what I did with this. As you can see, it sinks in right away. Okay. So, what else? Oh, here's where the pennies were. I just taped them right here onto the push pins. God, I hope they stay. I should have glued them, but then I didn't have time for the glue to dry. So I'm hoping they stay. I might have to tape them a little better. So I'll be right back. I'm going to make sure these are more stable. Okay, I got that secured. I wanted to show you a little experiment I did with um, pearl recipes. These are three different pearl recipes. And today um, I'm using this recipe. But let me tell you the difference. This is the same recipe here. The only difference is this was done when I poured the pearl pour and then I poured the colors on it without tilting the white off first. I just put it on there. I spread it a little bit so it'll go over the edge, but I just piled the, the colors. I stacked them, layered them on top of a mound of white. That's that. This recipe I don't care for because it has flocculation and too much water, I guess. So this is the same recipe, but I tilted all the white off. So you could see it shows up even more. So I'm not doing this recipe. Um, this is a different recipe, and this is also mound, mounded pearl pour mix, layered colors on top, tilting the whole thing off. I like it. This is same recipe, same colors, same, I put them down the same. This is once I tilted all the white off and then layered the colors and tilted. So I like mounding my white better than tilting off my white. I just feel like it shows up better. And I don't know where the other one went. This is, this is the one um, where I mounded the white. Smaller cells, more defined. So I'm going with this recipe, which is the one I just showed you right here. See that? Don't get all. Okay. So let's get going. I just thought you might be interested in what happens if you mound your white or you tilt it all off and then layer your colors. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the white on. Pretty big canvas. And I am going to leave a mound in the middle, but I do want, want it to go off. So I'm going to help it along on the corners for sure. Still going to leave a lot of white in the middle, but I just want to make sure it goes over the edge. Because I don't know how I'm going to be tilting this. I know I'm going to have some negative space. So we'll see what happens here. I did this with the tiles too. So I'm going to pour 
just a little bit more white in the middle here. My colors but I got some white in here which I don't want because that'll get this out of here. I don't want any cloud paints which is what this would be. Okay I'm gonna start with the darker color up here. Lost. Okay, so before I tilt it, a little dot out there. That's a lot of paint on there. I'm going to use the spray paint right now. Let's see. Don't I don't want to use my flame with the spray paint. So make sure you get all the bubbles out before you spray. I am outside and I have a little fan going. Let's tilt. Let's see what happens. I want to go off that side. Maybe a little bit. Ooh, I really like what's happening. Look at that. Look at that. I hope the white doesn't just suck up all the colors. I don't think this recipe is as strong. Okay, when I get something like that, it's like, what the heck? How can I not leave that alone and see what happens? So I'm gonna sit here and watch it. And I'm going to put you on fast forward and see what happens with this. I mean, I could mess with it, but I love it organically like this. There's really nothing that I want to do. I mean, you have these beautiful lacing, this beautiful lacing going on. 
there's nothing I can do to this to make it, I don't know, it looks like a wave too, it looks like a wave coming down, I don't know what it looks like to you, but like, this is the beach and it's part of a wave, I am loving this. Okay, it's been about an hour. I'm not sure if it's finished, but I wish it wouldn't have continued. Now I wanna do another one. Let me take you in for a close up. So if you'd enjoyed watching this or learned anything or wanna try something, Please give a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. That's one way you can support me. Also subscribe. How it's shrinking right here. It's got some texture. I love this part. It's really cool. Some of the colors got gobbled up. Like the dark color right there. I love the turquoise but it sort of got swallowed up. Very cool. I love it. I might just keep this for myself. It reminds me of a wave. Let me know what you think. I'd appreciate a comment. Till next time. Aloha.